This game... <laughs> I honestly did not think I'd be playing this one tonight. This video is sponsored by LD Player. Hi, welcome to a figure fantasy video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be playing through this figure fantasy game. It is a very new release. I believe it is soft launching only in Australia and New Zealand. So bless Papa Lace's Papa for letting me be born in Australia. And so let's just get into it. And so just very quickly, as you can see, it is very much based around figures. So like uh, kind of stuff like that, right? Like I know that looks a little bit terrifying because of the lighting but yeah figures and so like for me personally like a massive first impression is that it is very much like toy story but with waifus and so without further ado let's jump into the game let's have a look at the music the vibe the atmosphere let's have a look at the art the animation the performance as well as the ui how cohesive it is and just in general how fun it will be all right and so right off the bat it looks like we have options to select between hd or perfect graphics i'm gonna have to go with perfect because i am running on a pc and on top of that we do have a selection between english and japanese voiceover that's pretty interesting However, as you guys know, I'm a freaking weeaboo, and so let's go Japanese. Alright, and so in terms of cutscene, it looks like we are getting a little bit of animation, I guess, but not at all what I was expecting. I thought that we'd be getting like some 3D animations, but it's okay. You know, like this is just the start of the game. Oh, okay. This, this is what I was expecting. Is this not like Toy Story? Is this not almost exactly like Toy Story? Oh my god, you can see her boobs. Oh my god, you can see her holy moly i am predicting a lot of fan service for this one and so let's get it all right and so here we go it looks like we have the 2d art over here there are some levels of animations but wow okay this is interesting this is actually very very interesting because these are the specs that people look at when they are looking to buy a figure and so i'm wondering if there are actually going to be like any ip products or any ip in this like sort of online or if there's going to be like one piece or if there's going to be like love live slime stuff like that and so let's keep going with this one original work summer love story unfortunately i'm not really familiar with that one it looks like this is the main character as well yuki and i'm not familiar with this character either maybe these are original works uh wonder girl yuki yeah i suspect like they are the original works for this game figure fantasy very much like a kingdom hearts if you guys have played that before with sora oh man if this ain't toy story i don't know what is all right and so i think we've seen enough of the cutscenes, and so i'm gonna skip ahead and see what i can show you guys next all right and so the game has asked me to paint this girl and so, oh my god this is a little bit lewd all right i think that was just a little bit of interaction nothing too massive uh, let's move on all right guys and so i have found our first challenge i have no idea what exactly i'm doing here there's a, there's a lot of interaction in this game let, let me put it that way and so guys within about three minutes we are presented with the menu which is really nice i'm gonna go ahead and have a look at the settings look for a high frame rate mode i'm pretty sure that's what hfr is going to stand for and it looks like we are on the 60 fps but otherwise we've got uh ultra hd graphics four times anti-aliasing wow that's a that's a lot of like great settings and so hopefully all of this is going to come through when we finally go into battle as for the ui itself it is pretty clean it's like it's looking pretty cohesive and so yeah let's get going all right guys and so this is actually what i was expecting out of this game like these animated 3d cutscenes and honestly they are playing out quite well like look at all that i think it's it's kind of cool they very much have nailed down like the figure kind of art style i mean it's a 3d model right it looks like plastic and so now honestly i'm just pretty excited to see us go into some battle like uh, i want to go shoot something up all right guys and it looks like we are finally going into our first battle so in that case let's settle our scores with baseball bats okay and so it looks like i'm going to be deploying my figures so i'm putting one there and then putting one over here and then away we go so i see some hexagonal platforms and Oh, I think this is a lot of auto battling again. Home run is ready. It looks like we are going to be using a skill because the blue bar has been charged up to full. And oh, wow. A fully animated cutscene in 3D with like 3D figures. And so I did not activate this skill, but okay, that was, was kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of cool. I, I must admit, like, the art style is not really 100% up my alley. And this is very much, like, just a personal thing. Like, I think that they have really captured this 3D figure kind of art style very, very well. All right, let's have a look at the statistics, and it's it's very much what you expect. All right, and so I'm going to look for what we can have a look at next. All right, and so I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but there is this box in the middle. And so if I click 
No, there's no battle going on. If I click this one over here, when you are offline, figurines will collect idle rewards. The more stages you've cleared, the more efficiently they collect. So I don't know if you guys have played AFK Arena, but this kind of sounds like that. I must admit, I've never really played an idle game before. However, I think it might be up my alley if this is kind of what it's like. Kind of like getting progression even though you're offline. Honestly, that sounds pretty nice. All right, so let's hit claim. And so I've gotten all of those currencies and let's go to the next battle, I guess. All right, guys. And so we have another battle. I think the other one was a little bit short lived. And so we're going to be deploying our third unit over here. And it looks like she's got a skill instant kill attacks enemies in a straight line. All right, let's battle and let's see what happens. Honestly, uh, uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. It just feels like an auto battler, actually even like auto chess. So if you guys have played auto chess, uh, it's called Underlords or something, the Dota one, but like TFT for League of Legends. And then, yeah, aside from the fact that we can activate ultimates, this, like, I think it's the hexagonal placement that's really reminding me of TFT. But yeah, that battle is actually so short. That only went on for 15 seconds. So I'm not sure if the other battles, like when we get to like late game or end game, if it's still going to be like that. But yeah, guys, just like watching through a lot of these cutscenes, it, it most definitely feels like Toy Story if it was all waifus. Like, it's very much the same kind of vibe, like, oh, somebody is coming, we gotta, gotta fall down and sleep. And a lot of the coloring and shading is also looking like that too. And so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people make that kind of connection. All right, and so it looks like we have ended up in combat again. I just realized that there is this, like, triangle element advantage kind of thing going on. So let me see if I can click into it. And yeah, so deals 25% more damage due to brand countering okay and so it looks like this is like your elemental coverage or your elemental countering and honestly it kind of makes sense all right and so it looks like right now we are going to be introduced to a new mechanic adjust the positions to give a better advantage to Kazuya, which is this chick over here and so i'm going to go ahead and drop her and battle let's let's go again i guess and I'm going to be able to actually use auto and two times speed because they have been unlocked. So that's nice. Oh, it turned it on for me. Uh, I suspect this is going to be a very, very much an auto game. So we've got this like straight line attack. It's going to kill everything there. And yeah, okay. Uh, I guess this is the gameplay in a nutshell. And so guys, let's take a quick break to talk about our sponsor, LD Player. LD Player is a lightweight modern emulator built to support all of your mobile gaming needs. It's got features like multi-instancing, sync operations, it's got high frame rate mode at 120 FPS, it's got low memory mode, and more. Me personally, I actually use LD Player as my daily driver for Revive Witch. And when I do get the chance to play PGR, it is also my preferred emulator. But honestly, guys, I actually do think it is a pretty good product. Regardless, if you do want to try out Figure Fantasy or LD Player, then please head on down to the description below or the pinned comment and go ahead and click the link. And do remember that it does support the channel as well. Thanks again to LD Player for the sponsorship. And with that, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, and so it looks like we are about to go for our first gacha draw. Maybe this will be rigged, maybe it won't be, but let's have a look. All right, draw once for free. Let's get something nice. Collect a registration. All right, well, I guess I'll put my name in and select an avatar. And so let's confirm that and see what exactly this does. Uh, your order is being delivered. I'm going to undo some tape, I think. Oh my God, I knew it. This is actually pretty funny. All right, so it looks like we got a purple and I'm not sure what a purple is. However, this is Karen. I'm pretty sure she was like in the story and so I do believe that this is going to be a rigged pull. However, I do see that Karen is voiced by Rie Takahashi, which is a very, very famous voice actress. And so I suspect this is probably going to be a very common theme. We're probably going to have a lot of big names in this game. And so for you guys who are not familiar with Rie Takahashi, she has done, I believe, Megumin from Konosuba, Hu Tao from Genshin Impact, as well as Emilia from ReZero. But with that being said, let's move on. All right, and so it says that Karen has been dulled from not receiving daily care. We might as well take care of her a little bit right now. I think this is going to be a little bit more interaction. And so let's see what we want to do. So I'm going to click into figurine. I'm going to select probably Karen herself. Or rather, I'm going to go here, figurine care. It, there's no interactions. It looks like this is just like your, your upgrade tutorial. All right, and so I suspect I just finished the tutorial because they have started like pushing this stuff into my face. So let's have a look at these. Buy reward, 300 jemmies, 100 jemmies per day. And this is for $1. So this is like your monthly. And then it looks like there may be a VIP system. Maybe, well, maybe it's just what it's called in terms of the pack itself. Yeah, I think that's actually what's happening here. But 
Oh, okay. I think this is like the, the true monthly. Let's put it that way. But this guy's being discounted from freaking $19,000 down to $4.99. You know what? I, even if I'm not going to play the game, I think I'm going to buy this one. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't have money to burn like that. And so it looks like there are quite a lot of like dolphin packages, if that's what you're into. And I think what we're looking at are skins. Oh, wow. Okay. That is... That is pretty nice. So this is pretty interesting because there is like a 2D rendition and then a 3D equivalent, right? And the reason that this is so interesting is because like a few other games have had this um, this kind of feature. So the most notable one would be again Genshin Impact because like they do a very, very good job at translating the 2D images into 3D. And honestly, I would say that this game is doing a pretty good job as well. All right, and so it looks like we are buying that with this kind of currency, uh, a skin coin. Honestly, I'm not sure what that is. But otherwise, that kind of looks like the extent of the cash shop right now. So let me check our mail. And so for some reason, I don't see any pre-registration rewards. Are there actually just no pre-registration rewards? That would be kind of sad. Or maybe they'll show up after a certain round, something like that. All right, we are back on the main menu. It's actually kind of weird not seeing them move. Can I make them like move all the time? That's Jesus, did you guys see that warning? It's not good to touch your figurines too frequently. Take a break. <laughs> It makes me feel like some kind of weirdo, man. All right, let's have a look together forever. This looks like a bunch of different events. So a seven day sign in. Oh baby, give me those jimmies. Does not matter if I keep playing or not, just give me those jimmies. All right, otherwise, what do we have here? We've got a fully wish. So I suspect that's a 10 roll. Got an end time badge, got blind box coupon. I suspect that's actually a 10 roll. Maybe I was wrong about this one. I'm not sure what this is. Used to draw blind boxes of a certain brand. Changes every day from fully brand box. All right, so it sounds like it's the tokens or the tickets that you use to pull on the limited banner. Whereas this one, this is probably like your standard ticket. So I suspect if I go into maybe this one over here, there's probably going to be like an exclusive banner versus a standard banner kind of thing. All right. So it looks like one pool is for 300 jemmies and 10 pools is for 2,700. So you want to always be doing like the 10 pools. Oh, okay. Right. This is the part where you can kind of interact with them, I guess. So you can like zoom in and stuff. You can keep pat them. Why can't I pat them? That's okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of there. Hold on, I just noticed something, guys. There is an AR button over here. Oh, oh, this is this is actually really interesting. I don't have a camera. That's it's not gonna work. This is LD player. This is an emulator. And so I suspect that like you mobile phone players will be able to actually place these figures in the virtual world, but like in your physical room. So using AR, right? It's probably gonna be very similar to like the Pokemon Go. Otherwise, I think we've kind of explored everything. <laughs> Hold on, is that a VIP system? Yeah, okay, it looks like there there might be a VIP system. So, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa how, how deep does this go? All right, we're on VIP 8, VIP 9, VIP 10, VIP 11. Um, uh, so it looks like we go all the way up to VIP 20. What does this even do? Increase the number of lucky coins obtained from Adventure Patrol. It looks like you get a lot of materials and a lot of benefits if you're able to get up to VIP 20, which I wouldn't be able to tell you what it is. To be honest, guys, I'm not personally a massive fan of VIP systems, but like if you guys do like it, you do you. For me, generally speaking, if the VIP is not like really easily accessible, like uh, Illusion Connect's VIP, I know Illusion Connect gets a lot of hate, but in the first few months of that game, it was actually a fantastic game. I personally think that VIP systems like that are pretty good. This where there's like 20 different levels and then there's like a lot of benefits. I think this might be overkill. Otherwise, let's have a look at what this is. This looks like this is our stamina probably, and this is our normal currency. Then this guy over here must be our premium currency. Uh, we got chat up here. Oh, I was not expecting a chat actually. That's a lot of words that I don't really understand. We've got world chat, we've got current chat, we've got club chat. I suspect this is probably gonna be your guilds. And then your DMs themselves. Okay, wow, this is um this is starting to feel like a very, very social game. And then over here we've got the mail, which I checked out before. This looks like it's your bag. So you've got a whole bunch of different stuff. And then back over here, this is your settings. So we were already here before. I wonder if we can re-roll quite easily. Switch account, maybe, maybe. But I'm glad to see that there is a change server button over here. Nope, it doesn't look like we can actually move over to the NA or whatever other global servers there are. Ah, of course we can't because it is soft launch in Australia and New Zealand. And so of course there is only one server. That makes sense. All right, otherwise it's looking okay, I guess. Um, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to say that this game is not really up my alley. I do for sure have some figures. I'm not like a massive enthusiast, but like I casually get some. But for me personally, I'm just not really a massive fan of like the Toy Story vibe. Like I'm not even a massive fan of Toy Story. Like the art style and the interactions and everything and like the designs, I quite like them. But yeah, unfortunately, like the vibe that I'm getting from this game, it's not really what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, so in a nutshell, it kind of feels like you're playing as a figure collector and then like sometimes you're going to be encountering situations in which you have to pit your figures into battle against other figures. I guess it's kind of like if you're combining waifus with Toy Story with some TFT or like auto chess kind of thing. Yeah, that's kind of like my summary on like my view of how I feel about this game right now. Me personally, I've never really had like the chance to play AFK Arena or any other idle game. So like this mechanic over here, it's actually kind of cool. The fact that resources are technically still accumulating even though I am offline, I kind of like that. However, again, I just feel like I just feel like this isn't my cup of tea. Like, like look at that in the background. It's very much like Toy Story, and I'm just not a big fan of it. If it wasn't based around figures and all of that, like maybe I would enjoy it a little bit more. But yeah, in terms of like the audience, I think it's just that I'm not the target audience, and that if you guys do like figures and stuff like this, you guys will probably like this game. Anyway, I did just notice this guy down here clear at 112 to get 10 times blind box order for free. I suspect that's probably gonna be like where you're gonna re-roll. And so my dudes, I think I am going to leave it there. What does this button do? It looks like I can uh, select something and wish for it. All right, you know what? I'm gonna wish for some jemmies. Let's go freaking get it. The gift will be delivered in about nine hours. <laughs> You know what? All right. If if I do come back, then I'll be glad to have jemmies in my inbox. But yeah, guys, interesting concept. Just not for me. Not for me right now. Otherwise, the performance is decent. Like, it's not too choppy. Even like the 60 FPS is actually quite nice. Although when I interact with the dolls, I don't know if that's actually 60 FPS. It looks more like 30 FPS. But maybe that is an artistic style. I'm not sure. But yeah, my guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. And so honestly, I want to pass off the question to you guys. Does this game kind of look interesting to you guys? Will you guys consider picking it up? <laughs> Honestly, it, it's a pretty interesting game. I've, I've not really played anything like it. And so my dudes, do let me know down in the comments below. And if you do do so, then I would really like to thank you because you've made it up until the end of the video. But otherwise, if you did like this video, then please like this video. And if you haven't already, then please consider a sub. But otherwise, as a bunch of waifu figurines once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.